AMD is generally loved on Linux for their GPU drivers, but the company is not without its flaws. Over the past year, AMD's FTPM or firmware TPM implementation has been, to put it lightly, bad, and Linus Torvalds is basically sick of it, recently saying, let's just disable this stupid FTPM hardware random thing. End quote. But more on that in a bit. Firstly, we need a bit of context here. So late last year in 2022, not on Linux, but instead over on Windows 10 and 11, users started to notice a bit of a problem. Completely unrelated to the load on their system, completely unrelated to the kind of work they were doing, seemingly randomly, their system would stutter. It wouldn't be a very long stutter, but if you're playing a game like Counter-Strike or you're watching a video, it's something you're definitely going to notice. This led to AMD releasing a support article, Intermittent System Stutter Experienced with FTPM Enabled on Windows 10 and 11. And like many of these low-level problems, the solution was update your BIOS. Most people probably never go and do so, and there was specifically a patch made to deal with this. The problem is, whilst that's going to be possible on well-supported motherboards and well-supported laptops, there are a lot of laptops out there that don't fall in that category, that probably never got an update. The more immediate solution is switch from a firmware-based TPM solution to a hardware-based solution, which also depending on your device may just simply not be possible. There may just not be a hardware header for TPM. And even if there is, a lot of people just don't feel comfortable tearing apart their device to install something new into it. What a lot of people online were suggesting is if it's available in your BIOS, just disable TPM and it stops being a problem, which also works assuming you're not using TPM, which if using something like BitLocker makes it a little bit harder. It also assumes your BIOS exposes the ability to do so, and many of them simply don't. Everything was fine on Linux until Linux 6.1, because now in this version by default when present, AMD's FTPM was being used for random number generation. And it turns out that whatever problem was happening on Windows wasn't just a Windows problem, because the exact same symptoms started happening on Linux as well. This got reported in this bug report. Kernels after 6.1, AMD Ryzen FTPM stutter. Now, you may have been using a Ryzen CPU at the time and don't remember any system stutter, but others may remember it absolutely constantly. The other fun part about this is it was not consistent whatsoever. Some platforms are fine. Platforms like mine were basically unusable. You have no idea how many videos I had to re-record because randomly during a recording, my system stuttered. And when the system stuttered, it would completely cut out the voice recording and cause some weird static in the recording. This is the fun part about proprietary code. Nobody knows what's happening except for the developers. At the time, a patch was made to address the problem. Now, I use the term address and patch very loosely because what it was doing was just disabling FTPM for RNG on any of the problematic systems. It wasn't actually fixing anything. It was just, we can't fix this on our end. Let's just not think about it until the BIOS side deals with it. This made its way into the kernel with the 6.3 release and then got backported to 6.1.19 LTS and 6.2.6. Now, considering these are kernels from a good couple of months ago, you're probably thinking the problem is gone now and this video is just a historical video. I wish I could say that, but the problem is back again. The other week, a new bug report was made. FTPM usage can cause stutters on some AMD platforms. At least initially, this might seem like someone who never updated their BIOS, who never realized they've been having the problem the entire time. But that's not exactly the case. I can reproduce the AMD FTPM stuttering bug with 6.4.3 kernel on the ASUS GA402RJ laptop. I genuinely hate tech hardware naming. That means nothing to me. Whatever, doesn't matter. One workaround that worked for me is to compile the kernel without config hardware random TPM option, basically disabling the random TPM support. My FTPM firmware version is this version right here. I found this by inserting this debug print line in the kernel. 
I am also attaching the D message output with the kernel compiled with the config hardware random TPM option and without. Now, what makes this really interesting is the hardware they were actually using. This device is the ROG Zephyrus G14, this random string of characters. This seems to have a fixed version of the firmware, and it's also quite modern. Also, it's a really modern CPU, a Rembrandt CPU, the 6000 series. This is the first time the problem has been reported on that line of CPUs. And what workload reproduces the stutter? Anything specific? No. It just happens randomly. Later in the thread also saying it's both graphical and audio stutters. At least based on the symptoms, this seems like the exact same problem just on a newer CPU that it didn't seem to happen on before. The user does use disk encryption, but that was deemed unrelated and not making use of the TPM system. This is gonna seem like a random segue, but follow along. There is a Linux project called ASUS Linux. They have a very, very clear focus, getting Linux working as well as possible on ASUS devices. Linux is going to install perfectly fine on these laptops, but there's going to be additional things like better battery optimization, G-Sync, lighting control, media controls, and all these little things that a laptop is going to have on it. Now, this user who reported the problem isn't the only person having an issue. Also, people on their Discord were having issues. Some of them contacted ASUS support and received privately a special BIOS that adds an option to disable FTPM in the settings. And presumably, this special BIOS helps. Does that special BIOS switch from FTPM to Pluton or completely disables TPM functionality? Yes, it fixes the stutter. I think it just disables TPM completely, which introduces some issues for Windows, so it's not optimal. So it seems like ASUS is completely aware of the problem now, and either doesn't know, doesn't have a fix ready, or doesn't plan to fix the problem. One of these things is happening, but either way, disabling TPM fixes the issue. If this was just an ASUS problem, that would be one thing. But <laughs> the video's not over yet. I am also experiencing this issue. I've been seeing random stutters once or twice a day, almost every day on my HP Omen 16-N0000 laptop, Ryzen 7 6800H plus Radeon RX 6650M, ever since I bought it around the end of March with kernel 6.1, I think. Although I never realized that it had something to do with the FTPM until now. And once again, the solution is just disable it on more computers because we can't fix it anyway, so might as well. Following this, as Torvalds does, he went on a bit of a rant. Let's just disable the stupid FTPM hardware random thing. Maybe use it for the boot time gather entry from different sources, but clearly it should not be used at runtime. Why would anybody use that crud when any machine that has it supposedly fixed, which apparently didn't turn out to be true after all, would also have the CPU RD RAND instruction, which doesn't have the problem? RD RAND was added to the AMD platform all the way back in 2015, so any affected CPU is absolutely going to have it. If you don't trust the CPU RD RAND implementation, and that has had bugs too, see clear RD RAND CPU ID bit and x86 init RD RAND, why would you trust the FTPM version that has caused even more problems? So I don't see any downside to just saying that FTPM thing is not working, even if it ends up working in the future, there are alternatives that aren't any worse. And now we have a new patch, not just disabling our unknown problematic systems, no, that's too much work. Disable RNG for all AMD FTPMs. The TPM RNG functionality is not necessary for entry when the CPU already has RD RAND instruction. The TPM RNG functionality was previously disabled on a subset of AMD FTPM series, but reports continue to show problems on some systems causing stutter root caused to the TPM RNG functionality. Expand disabling TPM RNG use for all AMD FTPMs, whether they are versions that claim to have fixed it or not. To accomplish this, move the detection into part of the TPM CRB registration and add a flag indicating that TPM should opt out of registration to hardware RNG. Hopefully this means the problem never rears its head again. 
maybe we'll start seeing some issues on the hardware TPM side. Surely, surely not. Surely everything's just going to keep working now. I don't know. Either way, I have disabled TPM on my motherboard back when I was having the problems with the original issue. I just didn't want to deal with it. So since then, everything's been great. But it's good to know this problem is properly being dealt with in the kernel. And maybe one day, these hardware manufacturers can actually fix it. Until that day, this is a good solution. So let me know, have you been having any random system stutters on a Ryzen platform? If you have, have you tried disabling TPM just to see if that was going to deal with it? And if you did, let me know your result. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, silly bearer pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and I love AMD, but man, sometimes. Anytime that I call the bank,